While Florence lies in a plain, it owes much of its beauty to the natural amphitheater formed by the gentle hills that in part surround it. The hill of Arcetri, to the south of the city, constitutes an emblem of the Tuscan countryside. Surprisingly, it has preserved its pristine state throughout the centuries, as we notice from the fresco entitled The Siege of Florence by Giorgio Besari and Giovanni Stradano in the room of Clement VII in Palazzo Vecchio. And it's precisely on this hill, among olive trees and cypresses, that we find the house where Galileo spent his last years. Galileo finished writing the dialogue concerning the two chief world systems at Villa Il Gioiello. It was here that he served the sentence of house arrest after being condemned by the Tribunal of the Holy Office, even if he continued to discuss matters of science with his followers. And so it's not by chance that the place where the scientific method was developed is where research centers and educational institutes have their home. These centers and institutes make Florence an international point of reference for the study of physics and astronomy. Since the late 19th century, this location has paid tribute to the greatness of Galileo through research, scientific debate, and the transmission of knowledge. For the current setting of the astronomical observatory at Arcetri, we have Giovanni Battista Donati to thank, who decided to transfer the home of the Specola Museum from the city centre to these hills. In the second half of the 19th century, Donati first devoted his efforts to the study of comets, discovering five of them between 1855 and 1864. Later, he carried out the first studies in astrophysics, using a spectroscope to compile the first catalogue of stellar spectra. But the goal pursued by Donati with determination and passion from 1860 was the building of a new astronomical observatory. This endeavour proceeded with alternating fortunes, connected as it was to the vicissitudes of the newly formed Kingdom of Italy, of which Florence was the capital. The celebration of the new dome in September 1869 was followed by the definitive inauguration on October 27, 1872, marked by an oration in which the immortal Galileo figured prominently. The sudden death of Donati in 1873 left the observatory without direction for some 20 years. In 1893, Antonio Abetti, the new director, foresaw the importance of the synergies created between different branches of knowledge. Indeed, he encouraged his son Giorgio to pursue new lines of research, such as astrophysics, which was being developed above all on the other side of the Atlantic. And it was precisely in the United States that Giorgio Abetti, working at the Mount Wilson Observatory, came up with the idea of constructing a solar tower at Arcetri. That is, a vertical telescope equipped with a long-focus Zeiss lens to obtain large images of the solar disk. The tower was inaugurated in 1925, but already in 1921, the year Giorgio Abetti became director, the observatory changed its name from astronomical to astrophysical, a clear indication of what would be the new scientific horizons pursued by the Institute. Solar physics would indeed be the predominant concern of the Arcetri Observatory until the late 1970s, when a new director, Franco Pacini, further extended the scientific interests of the observatory, both in regard to fields of research and to the implementation of the most advanced astronomical technologies. In 1913, Antonio Garbasso, upon becoming director of the Cabinet of Physics, proposed the transfer of this institute from its historic location in the city centre in Via Gino Caponi and the creation of a new venue on the Arcetri Hill. Construction of the new institute began in 1915, 
The inauguration of its roofing, built in 1916, was an important event widely reported in the local press. In the following years, Garbasso began a campaign to recruit the best Italian physicists of the era, including Franco Razzetti and Enrico Fermi. Other young scientists working at the Institute during the 1930s made important contributions to research on cosmic rays. Among these were Bruno Rossi, Gilberto Bernardini, Giuseppe Occhialini, Giulio Racca, and Daria Bocciarelli. Unfortunately, racial laws and transfers to other institutes led to the dispersion of this group. In the post-war era, physics in Florence regained momentum, thanks to the study of low-energy nuclear physics and of high-energy physics with emulsions, and to theoretical research in the physics of elementary particles. Today, the former location of the Institute of Physics hosts a group of astrophysicists from the current Department of Physics and Astronomy and from the Galileo Galilei Institute of Theoretical Physics, which promotes international workshops and doctorate programs in theoretical physics. The third component of the Arcetri Hill is the National Institute of Optics, which today forms part of CNR, Italy's National Research Council. Established at Arcetri in the late 1920s, the Institute aimed to develop knowledge and skills in the field of optics through education, research and consultation services for companies. The Institute's first director, Vasco Ronchi, earned distinctions for his studies in the fields of physical optics and vision science. In addition, he made efforts to expand the National Institute of Optics. By 1939, he'd already enlarged it to its present dimensions. Beginning in the 1970s, the Institute significantly advanced its lines of research. To its traditional activities, it added the study of laser applications, metrology, optoelectronics and chaotic phenomena in optics. At the same time, the Institute continued its interaction with the private sector, in particular with companies working on harnessing solar energy and with those involved in developing optics control systems and optics for space and biomedical applications. For all these activities, in 2012, Arcetri was declared a historic site of the European Physical Society, an international recognition of the contribution to the field made by the researchers who have worked here.